Hi, in this packet chaser, we will examine the ARP table. Uh, we will gather PDU information in simulation mode and answer a series of questions about the data we collect. Now we move on to part one. Examine an ARP request by pinging from uh, this IP address to this IP address. Firstly, we open The command prompt and then we delete or clear the ARP table on this PC now we switch to simulation mode and then we edit the filter ARP we show all none and then we select ARP and ICMP. ARP and ICMP. Then we ping. You can see there are two packets. The red one is ICMP and the green one is ARP. Why? Because the source doesn't know the MAC address of the destination, so it will forward ARP packet first to get the MAC address of the destination. The ARP packet is sent in broadcast mode. So the suite will broadcast it to all other hosts on the network. And only the destination answer because the IP address of it match with the IP address in the ARP packet. So when receiving the packet, we can examine the MAC address of the destination on the layer 2 So when having the destination MAC address, the sort will send an ICMP packet to the destination. Now we switch to real time mode and check for the ARP table on the source. You can see there is a ARP table, the IP address of the destination and the MAC address of the destination and the ties dynamic. So when the sort send any packet to the destination, the sort will encapsulate this MAC address and send to the destination. And we have a question. So in general, when there's an end device, you should an ARP request. So the answer is when an end device uh, does not have the a record on uh, an ARP table, it will issue an ARP request. Okay, now we move on to part two. Examine a sheet mark address table. Firstly, we generate additional traffic to populate the suite MAC address table. And from this PC, we print to And on this PC, we also ping the 10 or 3 command.
Now, on step two, we will examine the MAC address on the switch. Show MAC address table. So this is the MAC address table on switch one. So on this table, we have the MAC address column and the corresponding ports. And the tie is dynamic because it's learned when the ARP protocol run. Now we examine the MAC address table on sheet zero. Sorry. This is the mark address table on sheet zero. The mark column and the port. You can see uh, there are two mark address map with one port why because on this port port fa0 slot 2 have the uh, contain or store the mac address of two pc this one and this one so on the uh, this port there are two mac address Now we move on to part three, examine the ARP process in remote communications from this network to this network. Firstly, we ping from this PC to a laptop on uh, this network. And then we check for the AERP table. We have a new entry. The first one, the second one, the second one, the third. And uh, there is the record of the PC of this PC and this record is of this PC and this IP address is of the port, the uh, fat Ethernet port on the router and this MAC address is of the, this port on the router. Now I clear the ARP table, ARP ARP. There are no ARP entries found. Now I switch to simulation mode and repeat ping to this IP address. I click play. As you can see. receive broadcast to all uh, other hosts on the network and only the router accept it and send back a reply a ARP reply to the source with the MAC address of this port on the router uh, the source PC will send back the ICMP packet to the router and router one will forward 
that packet to router zero and router zero send back an ICMP to the source. Now we will examine the packets on this panel. Uh, the third packet, ARP, you can see the destination uh, is the broadcast layer 2 address is 12F letter because switch send uh, the ARP packet in broadcast mode to all other uh, hosts on the network. And other point you should remember that the destination IP address is not of the router zero because the source will use a default gateway. When it realizes that the destination IP address is not on the same network, so it will use a default gateway to send the packet to it. Now on step two, we will examine the ARP table on router one. Now we, uh, we will examine the ARP table on router one. On router one, you sit on to uh, privilege mode and enter show ARP. The ARP, this is the ARP table on router one. We have the address, IP address, and this is the uh, hardware address of this port of the gigabit Ethernet port. And this is the MAC address of the PC of this PC. That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.